Hi, first graders. Today we're going to talk about what we can learn from how-to books. If you want to learn how to do or make something new, a how-to book is the perfect resource. There are two different reasons why someone might read a how-to book. The first reason is that people read how-to books to learn how to do something they don't know how to do yet. Here are some examples of those kinds of how-to books. You might need a book to help teach you how to tie your shoes because you're still working on it. You might want to read a book about how to make bubbles so you can make your own bubbles and play with them outside. You might want to learn how to draw something better or how to draw something that you don't know how to draw already. So you might want a drawing how-to book. You also might want to learn how to speak a different language, like sign language. There are books for all kinds of languages that teach you how to speak those languages. Maybe you want to learn how to play a new board game. Every board game comes with directions, which is like a little how-to book of their own. Maybe you want to learn how to make a new recipe. Cookbooks are a great how-to book resource for learning how to cook something new. Another reason that people read how-to books is to learn how other people do or make things, even if you can't do it yourself. There might be how-to books about all sorts of things that you might not have the materials to make at home yourself, or maybe it's too complicated for you to do on your own, but reading about how other people do those things is still interesting. Maybe I really would love to read about how ice cream is made, but I don't have the right equipment at home to make ice cream myself. But I love ice cream, so it might still be interesting for me to read how other people make it. Maybe you're somebody who wants to learn how a certain sport or game is played. Maybe you don't want to play hockey yourself because it's too much work, or maybe you're just not really into sports, but you wouldn't mind reading about how other people play hockey and you might want to find a book about that. Something else that you might want to learn about is how is glass made? Gla making glass and glass blowing is a really fun and interesting thing to learn about and read about, but none of us can probably do that in our homes because it involves tools and equipment that we wouldn't just have around the house. But I can still learn how to make glass if it's interesting to me. Maybe I want to read about how to make paper. I probably don't have the tools to make paper at home, but maybe I could read about how people in paper factories make the paper that we use today. I don't have to read a how-to book so that I can learn how to do something. I can also read a how-to book to learn how other people do things just because I find those books interesting. For your assignment today, you have two choices. Here are your two choices. Number one is to read this book, How to Build a Guitar and then to complete the matching activity worksheet that goes along with the book. This is a book that will teach you how other people make guitars for a living as their job, but you won't probably make a guitar on your own. But there is a fun matching activity that goes with the book. Your other option is to read this book called How to Make a Hand Tree. Then you can use the book and follow the steps to make your own hand tree craft that looks like this. One of your options is to learn about how to do something that you probably won't actually do yourself. Your other option is to read a how-to book that will actually teach you how to do something new and make that craft. Choose whichever one you want and have fun.